Hey there everyone, this is the Ethical Boy speaking. In my last two videos, we had a closer look at the web platform. First, we learned how to convert our Python code into a static web application. Having successfully built the web application, we then move further to deploying the application on Cloud Web Pages, which is a free web hosting provider. In today's video, we are going to be exploring the deployment of this same application on another free web hosting provider known as Gator Pages. Okay, I think that should be enough for a brief introduction. Let's dive directly into today's subject. In order to deploy a web application on GitHub pages, you first need a GitHub repository. And as you can see, this is our project's repository, Simple Ethical Counter. It has just the assets folder, the main.py, and the requirements.txt. So after you created your repository and uploaded your files, or maybe you're using an existing repository, what we're going to do now is create a GitHub workflow. So we're going to move to this action tab over here and you can see get started with github actions build test and deploy your code make code reviews branch management etc we are going to let github build our code so we don't have to run flat build web on our machine github is going to do all of that through this workflow that we are going to create so we are going to build the application using github actions and then deploy it directly still using GitHub Actions. I think it will make sense in a while as we move on. So from here, you click on set up a workflow yourself. As you can see, it's trying to create a new file in the repository under .github slash workflows. So you can name this file as you want, but it needs to have this extension .yaml. So you can rename this main to anything you want. So maybe web build or I don't know, but it needs to have this extension .yaml. From here, what you're going to do is move to one of my repositories known as Flat GitHub Action Workflows. So the link for it is going to be in the description of this video. Navigate to .github slash workflows and you're going to see this file that I just created. So web build and GitHub pages deploy. Click on it and this is the workflow I came up with. So here we have the name of the workflow web build plus deployment to GitHub pages. And here we have the conditions. So when is this workflow expected to run? It's going to run when there's a push to the master or the main branch. So I included master and main because in some repositories, the main branch is known as or is named master and vice versa. So you can modify it to your needs and remove maybe the master branch because your repository has no master branch or remove the main if your repository has no main. You can also include more branches if you want. It's all up to you. It's also going to run when there's a pull request event that targets one of the below branches. So if you open a pull request that targets the main branch, then this workflow is also going to run. Or if it targets the master branch, it's also going to run. As next, we have the workflow dispatch, which permits us to manually run the workflow from the action staff. We are going to see that later on. After the workflow dispatch, we have this concurrency section, which is to avoid concurrency. Next, we have the jobs. So we have two important jobs in this workflow, the build job and the deploy job. The build job runs on Ubuntu and here you can see the steps. So it checks out your code, it sets up Python, so Python 3.12.2. Then it installs the Python dependencies from your requirements.txt file. It later on sets up Flutter and then runs flat build web. So when deploying your application on GitHub pages, there are two important parameters you need to specify. You need to specify the base URL. So in this case, it's going to be your GitHub repository. For this application, it's going to be simple ethical counter. So we need to specify your base URL. So we are setting it directly to the GitHub repository. So you don't have to modify it. And the next parameter you need to specify is the route URL strategy. By default, Flat uses the path route URL strategy, but when deploying to GitHub pages, you need to modify it to hash. The next step is the upload of the artifact. The second and last job of this workflow is the deploy job. It depends on the build job. So it's going to wait for all of this over here to get done before it can start. It still runs on Ubuntu and over here we grant the necessary permissions. And from here, we set up GitHub pages and we deploy the application directly to GitHub pages. So it's deploying this artifact, this web build artifact. This is the artifact that was produced by Flat Build Web. So that's actually it. 
All what you have to do from here is click on this copy button to copy all of this workflow. You move back to your repository, so inside your main.yaml file or I don't know how you call it, but inside this action file, you're just going to paste the contents in there, click on commit changes, and I'm going to leave the default commit message, so create main.yaml, and I'm going to commit to the main branch. So I click on commit and the file has been added successfully. So what we are going to do now is move to the action tab, and you can see this is the workflow. The workflow starts directly because we have committed to the main branch. Click on the workflow. You're going to see the status. It's in progress. You can click on this build to see what is happening under the hood. You can see all the steps are being executed. Set up Python 3.12. It has set up successfully. It has installed the necessary dependencies. In our case, it was just flat. It has set up Flutter and now it is building the web application. So after a while you can see the build was successful but the deploy failed. So this is the build job and we have the deploy job. Let's see why it failed. It says get pages site failed. Please verify that your repository has pages enabled and configured to build using GitHub Actions. So you need to move to your settings. So the settings of your repository and from here click on pages. And now under build and deployment, under source, you click on deploy from a branch. So that's the default. You need to set it to GitHub Actions. Having done this, you simply move back to your workflows. So you click on view workflow runs or you move to this action tab over here. And from here, there are two ways to restart the workflow. Either you click on this workflow which failed, click on rerun jobs and select either we run all the jobs or we run only the failed jobs. The second option is from this action tab, you click on this workflow. So the workflow we are just from executing and it says this workflow has a workflow dispatch event trigger. So this workflow dispatch permits you to run the workflow directly from here. So you're not going to wait on a push or on a PR before you can run your workflow. This is the line for the workflow dispatch over here. So it allows you to run this workflow manually from the action tab. So all you have to do is click on run workflow and you select the branch. So use workflow from which branch you need to select the branch and you then click on run workflow and it's going to run the workflow from scratch. So rerun all the jobs. So in this particular case, I don't want that. I just want to run a particular job which failed, which is the deploy job. So I'm going to use the first method. I'm going to click on this rerun jobs button and I'm going to run only the failed jobs. So it's going to rerun only this deploy job. So I click on rerun failed jobs. So it says it's going to rerun only this job. I'm going to click on rerun jobs. And you can see the build was already successful. So now it is working only on the deploy. So the build already successful we don't have to wait another two minutes to deploy because it was successful we rerun only the failed jobs and in this case it was the deploy job so it is deploying to github pages and as you can see it's a success this is the link to application here so i'm going to right click on it and open in a new tab and from here you can see the application launched successfully so i think from here you can see the beauty and importance of using github actions in this case, it built the application and deployed it for us all for free. And it is ready to do that again if you want. So we can rerun all the jobs and it is still going to do the same thing. So if you make a push, so if we modify the application, it is still going to build the application. It is still going to deploy it all for free. So I find GitHub Actions really awesome and amazing. All right, guys, that's a wrap for today's video. If you found it interesting or learned something new, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting Fred content. I'm eager to know your thoughts on all this, so please drop them in the comments below. Until next time, stay blessed and safe. Thanks for watching.